Expression Engine is one of the web's most flexible content management systems. You can create really any kind of website with it. But we wanted to make a quick primer for those new to Expression Engine to show how all the pieces work together. How you put in content, how you display that content. And so we're just going to make a simple blog for now. It's a type of site that we're all familiar with, so it should make things easy to understand. So I've got a fresh install ready here, a blank canvas to create our site, and I've logged into the control panel. The first thing I like to do is name my site, and there's this button up here that's kind of calling out to me to do that. So we'll click through, and we'll just call it my blog. And we'll update the short name as well, and we'll click save. And you can see the new name shows up right here in the top left of our control panel. Now from here, we need to set up a way to enter our blog's content. And to do that in Expression Engine, we need to set up a channel. Now channels are basically the different types of content your site has. And your content lives in these channels. Maybe think of them as the buckets for your different types of content. So if your site has events, you might have an events channel. Or if your site has recipes, you might have a recipes channel. But the important thing with channels is that they allow you to break free of the idea of content living on a certain page of your site. We, we don't really have to think about that now. We just want our content to be able to stand on its own, and then Expression Engine will allow us to display it on any part of the site that we want and within any design that we want. So for our blog, we just need to make one simple channel. And to do that, we'll go to the Developer menu and click Channels, and then Add New. And we'll just call it Blog. Next, we want to add the fields, or the different parts of our content that we want to capture separately. So again, if you had an Events channel, you might use some date fields to capture some dates. Or your Recipes channel might use a Grid field to capture all of the steps and ingredients that appear in a recipe. But for our blog, we at least want to capture the blog entry text itself. And for that, I just want to use a simple text area. We'll call it body. And I want to choose markdown as the formatting type because I want to keep my content as clean and as portable as I can. And you can install this formatting type via the add-ons page if the option isn't showing up here for you. And with that, we'll click save. And you can see it shows up right here. But there's a couple more fields I think I might want. One is an excerpt field, in case I want more control over the excerpt that appears on my blog homepage. So we'll create that the same. Maybe make it a little smaller. And I also think I want a featured image to be a part of my blog posts. And for that, I want to use a file field so I can just upload a file directly from the published form. We'll call it featured image. And to use the file field, you do need to have set up an upload destination in Expression Engine, which I must confess I did set up prior to this, so I didn't have to break the flow. But it's a simple thing to do. And with that, we'll save our channel. And you'll see it now appears under the Create menu. And if we click through, you'll see all the fields that we just created. So this is actually ready for me to post my first blog entry. I'll just paste in some placeholder content here. So we have our first entry, but how do we display this on our website? For that, we need to write some templates. So we'll go to the Template Manager, and first we need to make a template group for our templates to live in. So we'll just call it Blog, and we'll keep it the default group, and we'll click Save. And when we make a template group, it automatically creates an index template for us. And since this template group is our default template group, this index template is actually our site's homepage. Now, Expression Engine lets us edit the template within the control panel here, but when you create a template, it also creates a file that you can edit with a text editor. And many folks prefer to just work with that file directly. So I'm going to do that. So here's our installation. I'm going to go to System, User, Templates, and here's that same site short name that we set up earlier, so our templates must be in here. And here is that same index template that we just created under our blog template group. Now one of the things that makes Expression Engine stand out is its easy, clean, but powerful template language. If you know HTML, it should look pretty familiar and be easy to understand. For example, say you wanted to display the site name that we set up earlier. 
Instead of angle brackets, like in HTML, Expression Engine's template tags and variables use curly braces. And of course you can write any HTML you like around these variables to make them look how you want. So we'll save this, and now let's take a look at our homepage. And there is the site name that we set up earlier surrounded by those H1 tags. But let's start writing the code that shows us our blog entries. I'm going to start out with an opening curly brace and type exp colon channel because our blog content is in a channel and we want the entries from that channel. Now here's where the HTML knowledge is going to come in handy because we're going to add some attributes or parameters to this tag. First, we need to tell it which channel to pull from because we can have all kinds of channels. We want to pull from the blog channel. And since this is our homepage, we want to show the newest entries first. So we want to order by the entry date and we want to sort descending. And let's say we only want to show the most recent 10 entries. And again, like in HTML, we're going to write a closing tag. Now, in between these two tags is where we're going to specify how we want our content displayed. And whatever is inside the tags here is going to repeat for each blog entry. So let's say we want to show the entry title inside some H2 tags here. And then right below that, we want to show our excerpt. So we'll save that and let's go see how it looks. And there's our blog entries. Here's the one I added earlier and then a couple more that I went back and added just to fill out the listing some more. But it looks like this one is missing an excerpt. Maybe I forgot or just didn't feel the need to make a special excerpt for that entry. But I still want to show a little preview of the entry, so I'm going to go back to my template and add a conditional. And if you are at all familiar with programming, this should make some sense. We're basically going to say if excerpt, basically if the excerpt exists, show the excerpt, Otherwise, take the body of the blog article and limit it to, let's say, 200 characters. And we'll close the conditional. And we'll refresh. Ah, that looks better. Now we're missing one crucial thing, and that's to be able to read the full article. So to do this, we need to make a new template. And I actually don't need to go to the control panel to make this template. I can just make a new file inside our template group. So we'll just call it article. And in that template, we want to put a channel entries tag like on our homepage, except this channel entries tag is going to let the URL tell it which entry to show. And we want to make sure it shows nothing else. So we want to put this require entry parameter on there. And we'll change this to show the article body. And next, we'll go back to our homepage template and add a link to view the full article. We'll just make a link out of the title here. And we can use this handy URL title path variable. And we'll point it to our article template that we just set up in our blog template group. And what this variable will do is automatically generate a URL based on the entry's title. Okay, let's see if this works. We have links, and we'll click through, and hey, there's our full article. And if we take a look at the URL up here, you can see it's loading the article template, and it's put a nice readable title for this entry so that the article template knows which entry to show. And with that, our blog is pretty much finished. But there's one glaring thing we haven't addressed, and it's that this doesn't look very good. We're just using the default browser styles here. And that's because if we look at the source, Expression Engine doesn't inject its own markup or CSS. You are 100% in control of that. So to fix this, I found this free template that I kind of like from a template site, and it's just the HTML. It wasn't even built with Expression Engine in mind. But that's okay. I can just take these templates, the home page and article template here, and paste them into the templates that we just made. And then we just replace the static hard-coded content with our dynamic expression engine tags. So let's do that.
And that should do it. You might notice there's a lot of duplicate code across the templates, and you'll typically want to put that stuff into a template layout, but that's for another video. So let's take a look. And there you go, there's my blog entries. And you can even see I got to use the featured images that I added to the entries. I just took the custom field variable and put it in the image tag source, and it just worked. So hopefully by now you get the gist of how Expression Engine works and you have a good jumping off point for being able to publish your universe. Now there's a lot more to cover from template layouts, as I mentioned, to fluid content, relationships, custom add-on development, so much more. It's all in our documentation, but also subscribe to this channel and we'll try to break these things down together.